What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the new free weapons. Now if you don't know, there are four new weapons in the game, and with those weapons, there's going to be a couple of different criterias that you'll have to um, complete, I guess you could say, in order to get them. So, starting out with the first weapon, which is going to be Festering Desire. Now, Festering Desire is a one-handed sword. And it's, it's pretty easy to get, but I'm going to talk about a, a couple of things after that as well. So we're going to go ahead and get into that so I can tell you guys and show you guys what to do. So Festering Desire, when you start, I mean, you, everyone should have this by now, but for whoever doesn't, um, you're going to have to go to this camp, Alberto's camp in Dragonspine, and he's going to have you do a couple of different missions. And after you complete those missions, he will give you Festering Desire. Now, keep in mind... Uh, for those of you, because I know a lot of you guys already have it, right? Which is cool. Gotcha. But the thing is, you guys want to also make sure that you are doing this event shop. Because the event shop is going to give you these Festering Dragon Marrow. And with the Festering Dragon Marrow, which I just bought it, um, you are actually able to refine the Festering Desire. So as you can see, there's one right here, there's one right here, and I'm sure that they're going to give us another one so that we can get the Festering Desire to R5. So if we uh, look right here and look at Refine, you can use the weapon, which we don't have one, or you can use this to refine it up. So uh, if you guys didn't know, that's how you get the weapon, and that's actually how you refine the weapon. So, <clears throat> next we are going to be talking about the Claymore, Snow Tombed Star Silver. Um, this Claymore is actually pretty good for Razor and pretty decent for Shinyan because of its because of it giving physical damage. Now, uh, I know a lot of people talk about how the passive doesn't work with itself, but if you have an ice unit, which most people running Razor will for Superconduct, you're going to be proccing that anyway. So, anyway, let's go ahead and let me show you where to get it. So, we're going to go right here. Statue of the Seven. And then we're going to make this left right here. Climb up here. Fly over here. And then you're going to go inside here. Let me activate this. You're going to go inside here, right? Now, there is a couple of different events or things you have to do to um, get inside this room. Now, if you haven't done it already, I actually have a video on it. And you guys could check that video out if you want to. The video is called... Uh, where to find the three boxes, right? So if you guys need to check that out, definitely check it out. But anyway, you'll come in here and then you'll get this, right? Because this is a part of the uh, middle area, I guess you could say. We're going to travel back to the Statue of the Seven. So after you get that one and then get all the other seven tablets, which that's going to be a video called the seven, I mean, the eight stone tablets. Check out that video as well. Once you get all eight of the stone tablets, you can come here, right? So once you get all those, you can come here. And then when you come here, you want to light all four of these fire, um, bomb, the bonfires. One, two, three. And there's going to be one hiding back here, which would be four. And that is going to give you access to the new Claymore. So there you go as far as the new Claymore. Now, uh, for the spear... There's actually a world quest called the Festering Fang. You pass the Strange Tooth to Orban, or Orban, and he says that this can be used to forge a weapon. But he also notes that you will need to collect three such teeth, 50 star silver ore, and one northern pole arm to do so. Now, I haven't did the mission yet because I want to save it for this. But as you can see for the rewards, you get a free Dragon Spine Spear, and then you also get the blueprint so that you can craft more Dragon Spine Spear. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, well, I mean, that doesn't matter because I don't have any, um, I don't have any pole arm, you know, 
blueprints. Well, they actually give you a free one. So if you go right here to this tree, for anyone that wants to make multiple, I mean, they give you one free, but you, you can just listen to this as well. If you go to this tree, once you reach level eight, they give you a Northlander polearm prototype. So you get one at level eight. Now, um, that was for the spear. Now, let's talk about the catalyst. Now, a lot of people, um, I don't know if anybody's going to be building this catalyst, but hey, if you want to, I'm going to tell you how anyway. And then you can make the ultimate decision and do what you want from there. So at level eight, you unlock Crimson Wish. If you guys know what Crimson Wish is, Crimson Wish is going to be these little ley line-ish type of things, I guess you could call them. They're not really ley lines, but like, they're kind of like lines. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, right? How like what you would call them? How you would call it? But anyways, what it does, as you can see, there's this little thing right here, and there will just be a trial, or maybe you have to fight enemies, or whatever the case may be, right? Oh, okay. So I have to destroy this mechanism. Okay, that's one gone. And then this one over here. Which Beto just one taps them. So, boom. So, we got that done. It gives me one crimson uh, piece. So, once you reach level 8, and then you unlock the, the crimson wish, and then you can start doing the crimson ley lines. That's what I'm going to call them. You are able to get even more uh, crimson pieces. Now... Once you get your tree to level 10, it is going to give you a blueprint to create the Frost Bear Catalyst. So, um, you're able to get every weapon for free except for the Catalyst. You just have to make that, right? You, you can't get the Catalyst for free. But the Spear you get for free, the Claymore you get for free, and the Sword you get for free. And you can refine up the Sword for free as well. So that is all the ways for you guys to get the, let me go ahead and do this. That's all the ways for you guys to get the free weapons. I'm not really sure why they didn't drop a spear, especially with Ganyu coming out. I'm assuming they probably going to drop a new spear with her or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, as far as all the new weapons, that's how you get them. Uh, I'm going to be doing, well, I I'll save that for later. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's all the weapons. For you guys, there you go. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section about that being said. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.